Question number nine. The mass of a 10p coin is 6.5 grams. The mass of a 5p coin is half the mass of a 10p coin. So we're going to need to find out what half of 6.5 is. So, to cut a long story short, if you've got 6.5 here, and you say that that's 6 units and 5 tenths, then it might actually be easier to put a zero on the end, because remember 6.5 and 6.5 with a zero on the end means the same thing, because it means 6 units, 5 tenths and no hundredths, and that means the same if that zero isn't there. So 6.5 and 6.50 mean the same thing. Now it's much easier to find half, because half of 6 is 3, and half of the 0 0.50, well, that, if you sort of read that as 50, half of that will be 25. So half of 0 0.50 will be 3.25. Almost think of money as being £6.50, and half of £6.50 will be 3.25. £3.25. So half of 6.5 is 3.25. So what we need to do now is find the mass of the six coins all together. Well, let's have a look what we've got. So this 10p coin is 6.5 grams. We've got another 6.5 grams. We've got another 6.5 grams. And then all the 5p coins are 3.25 grams. So 3.25. 3.25. Now there are several ways that you could do this. What you way number one is you could do 6.5 times 3 to work out the mass of the three 10 p coins, and then you could do 3.25 times 3 to work out the mass of the 5 p coins. Let's do that first of all. So 6.5 times 3, 3 fives are 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1, 3 sixes are 18, plus that 1 is 19. So that's 19.5 grams for the 10p coins. And for the 5p coins, it's 3 fives are 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1, 3 twos are 6, plus the 1 is 7, and 3 threes are 9. So that's 9.75 grams for the 5p coins. And obviously what you'd have to do then is add those two answers together to get the total of all of the coins. So we'd need 90, so the total would be 19.5 add 9.75. Obviously your decimal points need to be lined up. And if there's a gap there, you could fill that gap in with a zero. Because 19.5 is the same as 19.5 with a zero on the end. Basically the same as what we were saying here. And we said 6.5 and 6.5 with a zero on the end were the same. So 19.5 with a zero on the end. Now we've got it lined up, we can work it out. So we've got 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Put the 2 in, carry the 1. 9 and 9 is 18, plus the 1 is 19. Put the 9 in, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Don't forget your decimal points. So we've got 29.25 grams. 29.25 grams, and that's your total. There is another way you could have done this, and the other way will be to actually add up all six of the coins separately. So you could have done 6.5 add 6.5 add 6.5 add 3.25 add 3.25 add 3.25 running out a little bit of space there so let's just work that out so obviously these gaps here we could fill in with zeros and let's see what we get so 0 plus 0 plus 0 is still 0 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15 so you put the 5 in carry the 1 5 5 and 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17 plus another 2 is 19 plus another 2 is 21 plus the 1 is 22, put the 2 in, carry the 2. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24, plus 3 is 27, plus the 2 is 29. So you forget your decimal point. And look, we've got exactly the same answer. 
doing it both different ways. So way number one is to do three lots of the 10p coin and three lots of the 5p coin and then add them together. Or method number two is to just simply add all six coins together in one go. Either way, we'll get you the answer of 29.25 grams.